gonna tell y'all about magnetism. They don't tell you about magnetism because magnetism quite literally works side to side with electricity. Our bodies are electromagnetic beings, meaning they have electric and magnetic current. Your magnetism directly correlates to your melanin being used in your body. This is why they don't teach you how to use it. Because how can you learn about melanin from someone who doesn't have it? Magnetism is what makes you have your superpower. It is what allows you to feel empathy. It is what causes radios and cars to go off when you walk past. And it also speeds up healing in your body. Because magnetism directly means melanin being utilized in your body. And if you guys didn't know by now, most of your organs have melanin in them. Which also leads me to my point on organ harvesting. I find it funny that the people with the most organs that have melanin in them are the ones that are going missing. They are the ones that are being found with their organs that have melanin in them taken out of their bodies. So maybe we should be looking at why they're not teaching magnetism and its correlation with melanin. Because after all, if you don't have melanin, then you're just an electrical being, not electromagnetic. I say, baby. So previously, I made a video about magnetism and its correlations to melanin. But what I didn't mention was, what was the electrical aspect of it? Well, that pertains to your physical being. You see, the way our body works is majority based off of electrical current. And in order to maintain that electrical part of your aspect, the physical part, if you will, you must maintain a balance within the currents that go through your body or your current seat. Energy is your currency. You receive this energy from photon or from the sun. The sun is what charges your food. When you consume those foods, you receive that energy from the sun. Melanin also receives photon energy from the sun. Your organs rely on this electrical current in order to carry out their processes. By maintaining the foods you eat, the environments you put yourself in, the things you sub subject yourself to, the drugs, the medicines, and even your own thoughts and ideas, all of that plays a role in the electrical signals that are sent to your brain. The control center. To sum it all up, the more magnetism you have, the more spiritual power you have. Y'all see me hit my lip? <laughs> the more electricity you have, the more physical power you have. This is why they only push for you to have electrical or so much solar energy. Because they want you to be stronger physically, but they don't tell you how to become stronger spiritually or magnetically. By balancing the two... You are now subjecting yourself to be able to have that spiritual sight or psychic ability and also the application of those abilities through your physical being. This is why they say your spirit is what operates your vessel. And there's 333 on the clock, so I'm just going to post this as it is. I share. is the biological intracellular form of the sun. It is nothing but the total electromagnetic spectrum condensed in the three-dimensional realm as a pigment, and that pigment is known as melanin. It has different wavelengths in its physical form that we call pigments or chromatin bodies or particular physical structures that we give a, a color to, chroma, like chroma, uh, chlorophyll, for example is radiating the spectrum here of 400 to 500 nanometers here, which is in the electromagnetic spectrum, but to the eye, it appears to be green. And we know how vital that is. But the point is that color is information. Color is energy. And we have a substance in every cell of our body to extract and process the information as well as the energy that every color exudes in and on our presence. And that is known as melanin. And it's important as it is because it is a physical manifestation of the sun. Why wouldn't that be pasted everywhere? You should see melanin everywhere, on your forehead, on the TVs, the radio, etc. But there is literally a repression of this kind of knowledge of self to be available to what appears to be the majority of people who possess this in high content and concentration. I'm here to bring you guys a couple downloads that have been downloaded into me. We must understand that melanin is the key substance to the universe 
The darkness is the savior, and it have been hidden from us. Nothing would be able to exist under the sun if it didn't have melanin. We are in the middle of the ascension process, and our ozone layer is being removed. And having melanin within your skin will protect you from these harmful UV rays. Our sun is only getting hotter, and the temperature is increasing on the planet. This is the cosmos going back to its original state. This is all a part of the ascension process. You have the temperature increasing everywhere. And we have the new black sun that have been coming in. And it may destroy inorganic beings. It would only give life to the natural ones on the planet. And anything that is unnatural may not survive this shift. You need to be granted melanin from the cosmic mother. Melanin is the original source of power. And this is how you tap into your higher states of consciousness. Melanin is what produces the soul. And some of us are soulless vessels. In order to gain a soul or melanin, you must vibrate high. And you must also surrender your pride and your ego to melanin. You must understand that everything comes from darkness. Everything. You must begin to increase your vibration of your heart. Your DNA and your melanin have been activated. And these energies will determine if you are ready or not. Melanin is very important in this shift. And they not telling you guys this. Tapping into the darkness is also tapping into yourself. It's tapping into the melanin. Peace and ashe. Hope you guys like the lecture. Einstein left that out of his equation because he coupled electricity and magnetism together and didn't realize that electricity was the equal and opposite of magnetism. Electricity being the, the, the contractive field. You breathe in, that's a contractive thing. You breathe out, that's... That's a magnetic thing, a radiative thing. But they use the term magnet as an attractor. But to magnify something means to what? Make it larger. Increase the space. That's the work of radiation. That's what Walter Russell was talking about all those years. That's the work of radiation. It's the electricity between the things that pull them together. The Coulomb force that supposedly opposites attract and push each other away. If that was true, then... Hot air and cold air would seek each other out. They're the same substance, but just under a, but in a different state. One is, they move in opposite directions from each other. Hot water and cold water move in opposite directions from each other. The reason two magnets seem like they're, the North Pole is attracted to the South Pole because if you had two rivers or two holes, two hoses with water coming out of them and you pointed them at each other, what are they going to do? They're going to be pushing against each other. But they align to where the male enters the female and is able to come out. So they've been fooled by their senses. They've been fooled by their eyes and, and, and have missed the whole picture of it. Both electricity and magnetism is what is called organ energy. Those are bad words. You don't want to say organ out here to this government and research scientists because organ means original. It's organic. It's orgasm. It's organic. It's organic people. And of course, they refer to those kind of people as original people. And what the last thing they want you to understand is who the original people are and why the original people are and where the original people are and when the original people came. None of that will they teach you. But you do hear a word that's used a lot. It's called aboriginal. Never use that word aboriginal if you are indigenous to the planet. Why? Because it means to abhor the original person. Aboriginal means to abhor the original. To abhor means to hate, to envy, to covet, to dislike. Consequently, the word aboriginal means that you are you, know, you have a dislike for the original person. And the original person, of course, is a person with melanin. It's been proven so many times now that if necessary, I won't spend the time with an audience like you to go into that, but nevertheless. Six, 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 yeah, six protons, six electrons, six neutrons, which is carbon. And carbon is the basis of melanin. Melanin is carbon. We are carbon beings. White people are carbon-based beings. If we ever discover other carbon-based life forms, we would be fundamentally related.
Carbon and the triple blackness of space, which is carbon. We are carbon beings because we have the original blueprint, the melanin, the black dot, the third eye, the eye of Europeans are carbon based beings, which means that they are a hybrid species that is based off carbon, but they are not carbon beings. <laughs> Seriously. 
That was made in January, January 15th of this year. There's only one comment made. <laughs> Electrical beings. Do it again. Electricity and magnetism, that's what that is. So the reason this works is because we are electrical beings. Our spirit is electricity and our soul is magnetism. So we in this physical avatar, we have electricity running throughout our body at all times. And I'm sure we all know that we have electrons in our bodies and protons in our bodies. And both of these have electrical charges, whether it's positive or a negative charge. We have electricity running throughout our body at all times. Not only that, but our hearts also produce an electromagnetic field around our body. So this is the aura that we feel, the energy that we feel from other people that we just can't see, but we can feel it though. That energy within itself is also electricity. And on top of this, kids are also more tapped into source, higher power, because they're directly connected. So their auras are very much pure. And the thing about this is, is we all have different and unique abilities. It's only when you tap in and start to notice these things. Even if you've tried to playfully do some shit and you've seen that that shit worked. Yeah, we all have these abilities because we are spiritual beings. I hope you enjoyed my explanation of this video and I appreciate you for watching the video all the way through. Crystal jewelry is also available on my website. The link is in my bio. I Close your eyes. Now you're listening. Now you hear. And in the beginning was the word. So we know that in the beginning was sound. And what makes melanin so powerful is the fact that it works off vibration, hence Black Panther with vibranium. So the same way light got photons, sound got phonons. And phonons represents the vibratory frequency in the molecular structure. This is why if I take a membrane and I put sand on it and I start putting frequencies of sound to that membrane, that sand will take form in sacred geometrical shapes. So our form and our structure is based on sound. When you are melanated, AKA black, but the sun is burning you, here's why. They are here telling our people that the sun gives us cancer, which to me equates to telling the fish, if you go in the water, you're gonna die. Your cells are dry. You are not drinking enough water. Instead of a 302, which is fruit water or the regular spring water, you're here drinking soda. Your tempo is so messed up. The mind, body, and spirit are so jacked up that the sun cannot recognize you. You are here denying your ancestors and worshiping someone who looks nothing like you. You know, I come with solutions. Start going under the sun. Start tapping. Start grinding your feet. Take them shoes off and ground your feet. Start sun gazing, all right? And start eating right. And you will be all right. The sun will kiss you. The darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Like, follow, and share for more. You watch Chernobyl. Yeah. Has a whole, like, wildlife sanctuary now. Yeah. Is because of this fungi that produces large quantities of melanin. Was able to live and survive in that radiated environment. Yes. Right. Ate all that radiation, turned it into nutrients for the environment, and now the environment thrives. Yeah. And there's animals living there. And it's so deep because when people have talked about melanin for the years, and, and you read the science journals, BBC articles, they say independent biologists have said that melanin can fight disease. disease. So melanin helps out to keep foreign agents out. And they say possibly all that stuff. And the word disease comes up because they're relating to black people. <laughs> so they never talk about the enhancements of what it can really do. So the disease state, it's not a matter of uh, it's just disease. It's just a matter of keeping the cells healthy. These melanin space suits that we got, yeah. right, which allow us to go through atmospheric conditions that are better rates than everybody else. Right? But specifically with melanin, melanin is a, is a, is a very powerful thing, right? Because we can absorb more radiation than any other beings on the planet Earth. The darker you are, the more radiation you can absorb, right? So you have to understand, even when looking at your brown skin, you're looking at 
frequency or radiation trapped within it. This is literally light trapped within your body. Right. Right. This is why you go outside, you go in the light, and it gets darker. Melanated individual, it's very crucial that you understand your genetic makeup. Most black people just exist out here without realizing that melanin is a cosmic gift from God, quite literally. And it's funny because melanin is considered the chlorophyll equivalent. Now, chlorophyll is the aspect of plants that allow them to undergo photosynthesis. Melanin operates in a very similar way. Both molecules possess the intrinsic capacity to transform phototonic energy into free chemical energy, the transmutation. Now, this book right here by Richard King is fundamental to understand melanin, and I highly recommend this book. That's a little ocean right there. Go hard, go hard, bro. Keep up. Your hands is up here, but the wheels is down here. Yeah. Do that one more time, but when your hands are down, relax. Yeah, there you go. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. That was good, though. That was good. You're strong. Can you stop them? Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. They almost... There you go, champion. You better go, bro. frequencies over your water to program your water because like I said water holds memory and you can then drink that water for that water to become a part of you and for information inside of the water to become a part of you sound vibration gets really really deep and interesting besides that I got some fire crystal well, he was talking about frogs but the main thing I wanted to get to was the fact that this sister standing in the water all right, she's standing in the water with her hands on either side. And you can see the energy and the frequency vibrating from her hands that was not in the water. And it's the important thing to understand that our melanin, our carbon bodies, our radioactive electromagnetic carbon bodies literally links with every aspect of nature. Y'all see this, right? You see how her she's she's standing up, and the 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 her fists are. Now he was trying to explain frogs, but the frogs were making sounds. She's not making any sound. I just wanted to play that because it show you that she's not making any sound, but the energy from her body, the electromagnetic spectrum, the frequencies that's coming off of her body was so freaking high that it caused the water to ripple just from, look, she's got a fist ball up here and a fist ball up there. She's not saying a word. She's just breathing. And the energy from her carbon body is literally causing the water to vibrate without even touching it. She's just standing in the water. This is the power of our electromagnetic melanin. Y'all, come on now. Come on now, y'all. We, we on some crazy shit. All right? We got to charge our bodies up. 
true power is all about fun. Having a great experience, no matter what stands in your way, no matter what obstacles or challenges present themselves, it's committing your body and energy to doing what you plan and having a great time doing it. energy yield throughout the body vibrates. Every cell and every organ vibrates faster. Since melanin is also in the brain, the brain vibrates faster. And the frequencies that it can reach are astounding. There's the frequencies that let you seem to be out of your body looking down on it that they all talk about. There's the frequencies that lets you sense when something's going to happen to one of your loved ones before it happens. And if it's happening, almost go crazy because you know it's happening even though you're not there. It beats any switch on EATT North, Northern Telecom, or Bell Atlantic. It is your instantaneous form of communication. It is a thing that messes up your cable TV when you pass by it. It is a thing that sometimes when you get excited, again, begins to interfere with your TV patterns. That is a thing that we just don't utilize enough. Why? Because who was going to teach it? The teachers were killed when they brought us out of Mother Africa. The teachers were killed when they attempted to do it here. And even under the Masonic Guild and the ancient ones who tried to at least serve the gods by helping the children of the gods do who they were, they were killed and tortured as worse as you were because they didn't want you to know it's a consciousness conductor. In the brain you have 12 melanated centers. Three of them dominate the brain. Melanin is a superconductor of electrical current. The electrical current is the current sent in by the sunlight. The sun is your friend. If you bleach your hair, you are preventing the body from taking in the electromagnetism that is supposed to come through the hair, which is like a straw that you take your juice with. And it goes into the body and energizes the body and also creates more dark centers with pigments. And that is going to create a strong current. The current in your nervous system. So know that your hair is absorbing the sun's energy like an antenna and directly absorbs current from the sunlight which creates further pigmentation. Bleached hair prevents the electrical current from going into your system. The relationship between melanin and the cosmos? Do we come from the stars? The deep hole, the black hole in the earth, you understand that's the source and the power of the electromagnetism and that is a melanin center. Melanin is present in the soil, it's found in different forms, pigments are found in different plants, though you have green, brown and others. Most of the environmental features of life that are in the plant world and on the earth have some form of pigment in them. The type of pigment has to do with the vibrational energy. Those seven colors that we see called the electromagnetic visible spectrum. Each one radiates or vibrates at a certain frequency. This gives a characteristic or a chemical property that we call color. Ancient Egyptians have it in their writings that their ancestors were green. So it could be that from the beginning man was radiating at a frequency that made it possible that we, the ancient man, were of green nature. Glad you all took the time to watch this. As we study the cosmos and study our bodies, our melanin, carbon-based bodies, we will understand how the cosmos and the aspect of the cosmos is in relation to our melanin. How we as electromagnetic beings are able to create different realities because of the frequencies and the vibrations and the energies that come from us. We are literally the cosmos and the flesh, electromagnetic, and this is what our melanin is all about. Let's keep to let's keep charging our bodies up, brothers and sisters, bringing ourselves more closer into the reality of who we are as the original beings. This vast cosmos that you see 
up in the sky. It's the same vast cosmos when you look at this melanated body. The frequencies, the vibrations, the energies, the everything that we come from. We're the pivotal force of energy on this planet and in this realm. And this is something that cannot be stopped. And like I say again, thank you for visiting, watching, right? And remember, all power to the multi chakra celestial and jelly beings make chaos reign with you forever and ever and ever. Remember, chaos is everything. You are chaos. You're electrical. You're magnetic. You are the deities that are much feared by all aspects of mankind. Much power to you all.